Now friends, let us see how to generate a code from this DAG using an algorithm. So this is an algorithm. So I need not uh, going to explain the algorithms uh, because uh, for uh, doing this problem, you have to thoroughly understand this algorithm. So here the intention of this session is just to uh, solve the problem, not to explain this algorithm. So please keep the algorithm uh, in side by side while solving this problem and please do understand this algorithm. Okay, so let us um, continue. The first thing is procedure is generating the n. So n is normally the root is taken as n and the left child is taken as n1 and the right child is taken as n2 okay so whenever you see a gen code it means that you are generating a code with respect to the root so root always be considered as a n and the left is considered as n1 and the right is considered as n2 so uh, for this case the label of uh, n1 is 1 and label of n2 is 2 and hence it is uh, belonging to case Two. So here I have I highlighted the procedure for each case. So these procedure alone will help you to generate the code. So as you all know the total number of uh, registers that you need is 2 and hence in a stack there will be the two registers. One is R0 and R1. Okay. So with this let us see the so for the first case of gen code it belongs to case 2 why it is belonging to case 2 you please read out the case 2 then only you will may be easy to understand so first thing what you have to do is you have to swap the two registers so the first thing you have to swap the two register so in the stack you are having the two registers now you are going to swap it so while swapping r1 will be the r0 will be the top of the stack okay and below r1 will be that so first thing i have completed the next is you have to go to the gen code of n2 so gen code of n2 n2 is right so now you have to generate the code for n2 so the first i started with gen code of t4 t4 it is of case 2 okay so now I am going with gen code of T3. So gen code of T3, it belongs to case 3. Again, you please check this algorithm and see the conditions. So that is belonging to case 3. So you will be shifting from here, you, you, have, you are shifting to here so now the first thing what you have to do is gen code of n1 so what is the gen code of n1 here so if it is of n if if this one is a n then this one is n1 and this one is n2 so what you have to do you have to see gen code of n1 so here the gen code of n1 is a leaf node and hence for a leaf node it belongs to case of 0 so what is case of 0 for leaf node what you have to do I highlighted that is move so write it down move name so here what is the name here is e so move e comma r stack of top so what is after uh, swapping out what is the top of the stack top of the stack is r not ok so you are coming out of here now you are at you are at this statement okay so after generating n1 now what you have to do you have to pop the r stack so when you are popping the r stack so this r not get popped okay and that gets stored here so now r is equal to r not for this case r is equal to r not now the top of the stack is r1 so this statement also I have completed. What is the next one? Gen code of N2. Now this is the N statement. So now this is the N statement. So I am just generating gen code of T2. Okay. So gen code of 
T2 is nothing but for which case it is belonging is it is belonging to case 1 it is belonging to the case 1 so let us see what is case 1 I have highlighted this alone you have to do you have to gen code of n1 so what is gen code of n1 here if it is of n if gen code of t2 is n and this one is n1 and this one is n2 so what you have to do you have to move to gen code of n1 when you are coming here it is of leaf for leaf means you are being giving a case of 0 for case 0 what is a highlighted thing you have to do move name comma r stack of top so you have to generate move what is name here name here is c so c comma r stack what is r stack now after popping up now the top of the stack is r 1 ok so you have completed the first statement and then you have to do the second what is the second print operator name comma r stack of top so what is uh, your here right so print what is an operator name here the root always would be the operator so what is an operator add and what you have to print name so what is name here name is d d comma and r stack top of the stack now what is the top of the stack top of the stack is r1 now you have to write like add d comma r1 and afterwards where you are now you have generated this code n2 okay now we are in case 3 we have not completed case 3 since the this algorithm is recursive in nature you should not uh, miss any of the statement okay if you do that then the whole pro algorithm and whole the thing will get collapsed for you okay now we are after generating n2 what we have to do print operator r stack comma r okay so what is where we are now we are at this gets completed now where we are we are at t3 okay so here print op of print op of r stack comma r so what you have to do what is an operator here sub so you have to write it like sub r stack so what is in the r stack now the r stack now it is r1 so r stack is r1 and r stack what it is given r stack comma r so what is in r already we have popped out the register and we have stored in r right so that you have to write sub r1 comma r0 and afterwards after completing the statement what you are doing push r comma r stack so again whatever thing you have popped out you have to push it back now you are pushing again r0 inside the stack now R1 is in the stack. Okay. So this completed. I have completed the T3. Now where we are at? We are at the case number 2. Okay. So what is uh, we have to do? We have to generate. So this is over. Now R is equal to pop of R stack. So when you do R is equal to pop of stack. So this is the top so now r you are popping out now r is carrying out again you are popping out r is now r not and then you are writing after popping out so this statement is over now you have to go for gen code of now we are at gen code of n1 so for t4 what is an n1 n1 is here so you have to generate the code for t1 so gen code for t1 okay for generating code of t1 since this is a t1 now now this one is n and this one is n1 and this one is n2 okay so for this case this particular t1 is belongs to case number 1 So what is case number 1? Let us see the case number 1. The case number 1 is 
the case number 1 is generate code of n1 so what is generate code of n1 again it is a label leaf node so if it is of leaf node then it belongs to case of 0 then what you have to do you have to write what is case of 0 move what is name here name is a and what is the top of the r stack what is top of the r stack here the top of the r stack is again it is of r stack is r, r1 so since we have popped out so r stack is r1 okay and then next what you have to write you have to write a print since it is of case 0 next one is print op name comma r stack of tab so what is op name here add so add b op name so what is uh, what is name name here is b so b comma r stack of r1 that is nothing but r1 so this so we come out of this so this is also over what is the next one next one is print op of r comma r stack of top so what is op here here we are at t4 right we are at the root so what is operator here it is a sub so you have to write as sub op r stack so what is r stack here so r stack here is comma r not so so this this is also completed and after doing this what you have to do you have to push r comma r stack so while you are pushing so this one sorry uh, a small mistake i did op for this case print op r so what is the stored in r r you have stored r not and stack top of the stack is r1 because i popped it out and stored r0 in r right now what you have to do you have to push it again so while push it again what happened this r0 is again pushed inside the stack and the last statement will be swap so you have to swap it again so when you swap it again again the stack initially you took the stack like this okay so after using all the register you have made all the registers again into the stack so this is what the initial case you have started and that's all and this is the code generated with this algorithm okay so if you write the code alone it would be like this move e comma R not move C comma R1 add D comma R1 sub R1 comma R not move A comma R1 add B comma R1 sub r not comma r1 and that's all friends we have started with the dag okay and then we did the labeling and based on the labeling and with the help of the code generation algorithm from a dag we have evolved this code for this dag and for this case you are having a r stack which is holding a number of registers so number of registers is nothing but if the what is the label that root is holding that is the number of registers and that's all guys it is very simple and interesting to generate a code from a tag the only necessity is you have to remember you have to understand all this cases of the algorithm thank you